guys, what's going on? I'm back with another episode of Hoppier Days. It's been a little longer since I released a video, but that's just because I was on my deathbed. I was probably sicker than I've ever been in a really, really long time. I was throwing up. I had snot coming out, I had a temperature, there was stuff rumbling around inside me, I had the poops, I had the pukes, I had it all. But guess what? I'm back to 100% and I'm ready to open up a mystery box of beer from Washington. Not DC, Washington the state. The one that's tucked way up there in the northwest area. I think this will be a good one. We'll find out what's inside it. We'll drink it. This box is from a guy named Dan. He's a great swell man. I've talked to him before. He's got a beer Instagram account. I'll link him in my D. You should follow him. Check out the brews he's posting. If you guys definitely want to be let down by any product you ever buy, make it a Black & Decker. A little note from Dan. Tavor Holiday Beer Bash. Were you at this, Dan? Wish I could have been there. This kind of spooks me out a little, but we'll see. Maybe it's, are you a coin collector? Is this some sort of antique coin? Ah, three cents, perfect. This will make up for the ad revenue I'm gonna be missing out on on this video. This pretty much actually doubles probably the ad revenue I'd be making on this. Thank you so much, Dan, that's awful kind of you. I hope those weren't ass pennies. Look at this colorful can. Fremont, Fremont Brewing. Head full of dynamite, hazy India pale ale. I'm pretty sure this is a special release by Fremont. I've never had Fremont. I've heard of them. I've wanted to try them. Friends bring happiness into your life. Best friends bring beer. There's too many beer quotes out there. I just, I don't care about beer quotes. Everyone's like, oh, God invented beer to make us happy. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there's always quotes about our president saying stuff about beer, like Abraham Lincoln. Yo, man, just stood in a three hour line to get that dope hazy double milkshake. Totally worth it. Oh, Dan, an urban family beer. I have not had it. Man, oh man, I shouldn't have thrown that around. Look at these, dented them up. Could have been the letter carrier though. I don't think it was me throwing them around. Replicator by Urban Family Brewing. I just saw on their Instagram not too long ago that they're canning beers. They just had like a can release. They canned two different beers. I'm sure their can release went over really well. I'm not really much on can releases. People waiting in line and getting all vicious over getting to that beer. <laughs> Those guys over at Urban Family, whoo! They do a great job. I love everything they make. Haven't had a pale ale from them, so this is very exciting. This is a fine sampling from Washington, I gotta say. I think the first one we're gonna try is the Fremont Brewing Head Full of Dynamite. It's a hazy India pale ale. It's got an awesome can art. Look at that. You don't see that point of view from a can very often. You don't get to see it pop from the other side. We're back on track with the hazy IPAs. I'm sure everyone's getting all excited again with the hazy IPAs. Woo! Hazy orange color, can't even see through it. I'd say the opacity set about 95% on this guy. That's a piece of metal. Not a, not a ton on the sniffer here, just pretty much pine. Creamy, creamy mouthfeel. It's a tasty number. Very piney, very little fruit flavor to it, if any at all. Definitely a head full of dynamite, you know what I mean? Like light the fuse, whoo! Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Next up, we got Replicator. We gotta cleanse our palate before trying the next one. But since these are both IPAs, sometimes you need something a little stronger to cleanse your palate. Oh. All right. I think I have a metal shrapnel piece in my throat from that. <sighs> Seriously, I was so sick last week. Um, just barf, vomit, puke. My whole body was cleansed. I, I swear at one point there was absolutely nothing in my body, like nothing. But we're back at it. Now we're trying an urban family beer. This is exciting for me. I woke up in the middle of the night not too long ago with like just my brain thinking of every possible thing. You know, not nervous or worried, just I was just thinking of every possible thing that could ever happen in the world. 
and I thought of a really funny joke about an aggressive poor, and I said, oh, I gotta use that. And you know what I did? I fucking forgot it. <clears throat> that might have set the record for the grossest burp I've ever done on camera so far. As we wait for that to die down, we'll, we'll use your little sampling glass. God, I hope you didn't put your nuts in here or something. This is, this is just a little shooter, a little taster. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it smelled like and stuff. We'll tell you right away, it tastes good. Here, we'll, we'll work backwards from there. It's a very good taste. Tastes very good. Um, it kind of has a pale ale smell to it. So I never really said anything about this one. This is an 8% IPA. I almost think it might be like a double IPA. It tastes really good. Hoppy yet balanced. Uh, a real delight. It says like Juicy Fam or Juice Fam. It says something under there, but the print is so close together I can't tell. Urban Family, one time you should put under there, hey, why are you looking at my undercarriage? All right, I've overstayed my welcome and we need to give these beers ratings. I currently can't think of anything at the moment, so we're just going to give the Fremont a normal rating. And we're going to, out of 36, I would give it 29. 29 out of 36 I would give this guy. Very good. Urban Family's beer, Replicator. Uh, this one is also a tasty number. Urban Family, everything they make, I keep saying, they're so good. I'd give this guy 42 out of 47. That's it. We're not categorizing. That's what you guys are getting. You ever become like a conduit to touch two beers together? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Hoppier Days. Hey, remember to like the video, subscribe. Hey, comment below on like some other content you'd like to see. I already ate some aluminum can. Maybe uh, maybe I'll do something else. Maybe I'll eat this penny. No, I'm not gonna eat that penny. Dan, I really appreciate you sending me this beer. Guys, remember to check out Dan's Instagram. I'll link it in the D. Yeah, guys, and remember, just stay safe. Have a nice night. Have a great time. Just, you're a beautiful person. Um, thanks for watching. Good night.